All right, let's hear this testimony. Why wouldn't she be allowed? Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, No way am I letting a noob drive my car. <laughs> a noob? So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. Hmm, I see. A bright red car for sports. Now then, the defense may question the witness. Ho, ho, ho. Hmm, I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but... Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. So what do you mean by really close? Like, I had one of those permit things. I think that's what they're called. Um, permit? Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know about what a driver's permit is. Well, this lawyer never had a permit. Ah! Ignorance is to be with. What is with her? She said the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So, like, may I continue? My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She valued cars? How much would you say she valued her car? Well, like, she'd flip out at, like, a drop of rain. And, like, she would not notice, she would notice if someone, like, touched the car with dirty hands. In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? Why did she take such special care of the car? How could you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. New car? Like... You wouldn't want to, like, get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? I would think that cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try asking something of more significance, all right? Well, Miss Vinny, what kind of car was it? She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. It was a new car? Yeah. She had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. Hmm, the UK? Was that her boyfriend's initials? <laughs> what an idiot. I think she means it's a British car. And it was a really special model. She waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the obvious next topic. But I really don't know anything about cars. But I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor. Yes? Please append what the witness has just said for her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special car from overseas? Yes. <sighs> well, if you like cars that much, then. That's not my point. So to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. Miss Minnie, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. My sister's new car was like a totally special model from England. I yelled, hold it, pretty forcefully, but I don't actually know what to ask. <laughs> ask for the heck of it. Um, so yes. Let's start with this. Why are British cars good? Like, huh? They're expensive and their driver's seat is opposite to our cars here in the States. <laughs> but it seems there is no benefit to owning one. Like, huh? This whole steering wheel on the right side thing, it's kind of goofy, isn't it? You... what do you know? That sleek shape, the purr of the engine, the way it starts, it's smooth, the more feeling like a natural transmission, that's what we see AC! Uh, forgive me. Person personality really changes at the drop of the hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. She, like, would say things like, no way am I letting a noob drive my car. Was your sister good at driving? She was, like, totally awesome. She, like, said she was going to be the, like, racing queen of the nursing world. Somehow, I think she bumped my question off track again. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. Something very big here. 
It's going to be hard to break apart such a natural sounding testimony. I forgot to press on that last one. We have to attack it, and by doing so, a flaw will show itself. <laughs> Believe, there is a path, I know it. Hmm. It almost sounded like a prophet for a second there. Alright, I forgot to press the last one. Where's the last one? Here we go. And that was when the accident occurred, correct? Like, yeah. I, like, immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled, like, in a daze. Hmm, sounds like you had a terrifying time. There's something very big here. Alright, it's that last point. It's that last point. So, the two hints here are that she's saying she got out of the passenger side door, but remember they said the chain to check the article again? Let's read the article again. Little said two women crashed into a highway center divide. One of the women was not able to escape the flipping wreckage and died at the site. Ongoing investigation has revealed that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. This eeny meeny holds an interview about the crash. I was like really tired and dropped off to sleep. And then there was a crash and I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep, but I opened the right door and light got out. I don't remember anything else. And then it just talks about that. So it says she opened the right door, which is the passenger side door, and got out. Before this, she would say things like, No way am I letting you do that, huh? Son of a bitch. It's something about this passenger side door. Fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, I have a whole full bar here. I'm gonna try to present the article and see if I can get this, uh, if I can get anything here. Let's see. Well, the music stopped. Miss Minnie? I guess this is right. Do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and the light got out. That's correct, isn't it? Light, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat, the left or the right? It's the right, and that's what she said. Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an, Amer an American car. Oh, it was a UK car, so she got out of the right door. She was the driver? Well, what does this have to do? I mean, this is a, this will break in her testimony, but what does this have to change? What does, what does this change? I don't know. All right, it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. <laughs> ah! What do you mean by this? Miss Minnie? You said you had escaped using the right side door of the car, but if you were sitting there, that means you were in the driver's seat. Ah! Rubble, rubble, rubble. Who fucking gives a shit rubble? Oh, order, order in the court. Order, order. Ah! Mr. Phoenix, why is blabbering nonsense again? Eeny said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Minnie. That is what Eeny said, yes, but well, that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Eeny or Mimi, who was really driving that night? Well, they're trying to say it was Eeny Mimi now, but... Now I'm really confused. What the fuck? I don't know, it could be either one. Son of a bitch.